Hey guys, once again, welcome back to our channel. Hopefully you are doing great. In today's video, we will be dealing with a brand new concept and that as you can suggest by the video's thumbnail, that is the basis of the periodic table. So before we just move on and get started off with the topic, let's just have a look at the syllabus first. So according to our syllabus, we have covered the first three main points. All right. And in today's video, we will be dealing with the fourth important point that is using proton number and the simple structure of atoms to explain the basis of the periodic table. So let's get cough. Now, the basis of the periodic table. So there are some main important points that we should be aware of. Now, if you observe the periodic table, you will notice that elements are arranged on the periodic table in order of increasing atomic number where each element has one proton more than the element preceding it. And if you look at the periodic table, you'll find plenty of examples there. For example, we have hydrogen that has one proton. If you go to the element beside it, that is helium, that has two protons and so on. Lithium has three, etc. It goes on, it goes on. Now, if you observe the structure of the periodic table, you will notice that the table is arranged in vertical columns called groups. Okay, that vertical columns in which the elements are arranged, they are called groups. And there are eight groups in total on the periodic table. And they are also arranged in rows called periods. All right. So the rows are called periods and the columns are called the groups. One more important point to take a note of here is that elements in the same group have the same amount of electrons in the outer shell which gives them the similar chemical properties. So we have uh, almost covered the information, almost 80% of the information we have just input to our brain. And now let's see how exactly this periodic table looks like. Here we have the periodic table. And you see here, everything seems to be exactly, um, we have matched with the statements that we made uh, in the previous slide. And you can see, uh, you'll go from hydrogen, then you go from helium, the proton number is increasing. This means the uh, hydrogen has one proton, helium has two protons, lithium has three, ber beryllium has four, boron has five, and so it goes on. And you can also see that this, these are arranged in vertical columns, okay? For example, if you see this first column, first group, that is lithium, sodium, potassium, rubidium, cesium, francium. So this is called a group. And if you see the elements arranged in rows, for example, we have lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, neon, you will see these are, these are arranged in rows called periods. All right. Now, and also we have a key here if you are confused with that. So we have, if you see, for example, the atom of helium, if we take here, we will say that it has a mass number of four. Okay, the larger number is a massive as we discussed in the uh, previous videos. And the atomic number is two, and the element symbol is here and its name. I can also see that we have uh, some colors here, color categories here that we have made, that we have uh, highlighted metals in blue, non-metal solid state in purple, non-metal gaseous state in yellow, and liquids and metalloids uh, have, have been highlighted with their boundaries in red and green. So there are many chemical elements on earth and periodic table summarizes all of them into a single table that we are seeing on our screen now not only this table tells us the full names of all those existing elements and their respective shortened symbols but it also gives us important information regarding the structure of the single atom of that particular element so as we discuss here you will notice that this key is telling us the structure okay so firstly it tells you the full name and the shortened chemical symbol for the element in this case helium all right and this is fairly straightforward. Secondly, it tells you the proton number and the mass number of an helium atom. All right. And here are a couple of extremely important things to remember. The proton number, aka the atomic number, is the number of protons in the atom. All right. Number of proton or the number of electrons. Okay. And the mass number is the number of, is the total number of protons and neutrons. Okay. Recall that neutrons or protons have mass, but electrons do not. The number of electrons will always equal the number of protons as we discussed. All right, one exam tip for you guys, that whenever you see an element, all right, the 
proton number is unique to each element and could be considered as an element's fingerprint. Electrons come and go during chemical processes, but the proton number doesn't change. So everything that happens, you will see that electrons are only the um, subatomic particle that will take place in the chemical reaction. Anything is chemical process going chemical reaction, everything that happens, okay? And knowing the electron arrangement of atoms are extremely important. Why? Because it defines the entire foundation of chemistry. And why do you think atoms react with one another? Why do you think that? It's because all atoms have a goal. It is simple. That is to achieve a full outer shell of electrons. And with this, this was the end of the short lesson that we have discussed in today's video. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Hit the thumbs up button. Comment down below. So as per your comments, I can uh, post the upcoming videos. All right. Um, that's it. Cheers.